What is up, Sideways fam? We are back again today with the Starion or Chrysler Conquest, whatever you want to call it. End of the day, it's the same car. Lots and lots and lots of updates to show you on this thing right now. So let's jump right into it and let you guys know what we're going to be doing this week on Sideways. So check it out. Bumper is on. Intercooler is done and mounted. AEG fans are installed. Engine mounts are fabbed up and done. Transmission's right in the center of the car. Let me show you that real quick. But look at that, guys. Right in the middle. Sorry about the lighting. Don't have the light on on my phone, but right there in the middle. Looks great. Uh, I already finished building my fully custom wiring harness. If you don't know much about me, uh, I build all these harnesses from scratch and basically to tailor to the car of how we're going to do it. So, you know, I'll have my twin fan relays in there. My single fuel pump is only going to be doing one in this car. The car's probably never going to go over five or 600 horsepower. Won't need more. If you have not seen my fuel pump video of the conversion we did, as you can see down here, there is PTE line for the feed line ran from the tank all the way to the front now with the fuel pump that's in tank. And we have this super, super, super awesome brand new comp turbo over here in the office that I'm going to be going ahead and unboxing right now for you guys and showing you <coughs> what is all here and what's going on. My bad. I had to readjust my camera real quick. This is a comp turbo 6865 with the serial number obviously if you don't know anything about comp comp is uh one of our main sponsors for turbos with every single purchase that you will ever get from them you guys you will get a specific certificate for your turbo signed and dated by the owners on the day that it was completed and you get a full dyno printout of the uh turbo tested on their machine before it even goes to you it tells you what rpm it was run at all the other stuff that you need to know super super awesome you know shows you uh, that it came from cyrus performance and then obviously we're gonna go ahead and open this up and what do we have underneath we have a beautiful brand new comp turbo with a 81 rear housing i love their turbos you guys i'm a really really big fan i run them on pretty much every single one of our builds and if you can see they have that really really cool kind of bullet internal beautiful beautiful work uh this is going to be a journal bearing uh turbo with a uh, billet wheel uh, this is a 65 series. They're all going to be 65 series in T4. That's if you're going to go ball bearing. So let's jump right into it and not lollygag anymore with all the crazy stuff we got everywhere here. Just a huge craziness. Let's go. How is that for mock-up, guys? Obviously, the turbo is facing the wrong way. But as you can see how you'll see it in the car, it's going to fit nice and low. Uh, we're going to go ahead and clock this pipe down. I'm going to actually show you in this video how to... Uh, bolt a turbo onto your Jay-Z and what you have to do as far as clocking and setting it all up for what you're going to do because it's not just like you bolt it on like that and you can go ahead and do it there's a lot more to it and if you don't know much about how to do this stuff I mean these kind of things are very very important everybody's going to want to know these little tips and tricks and I'm going to show you everything you're going to need to get your turbo kit installed on your engine and kind of how it all goes together so we'll get into that in a minute but right now what I'm going to go ahead and do is we have a brand new King's Royal intake manifold right here on the back of the car with one of our fuel rails and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this fitted on the car. I've already test fitted everything. I don't know if I had it in the other video of what we were doing, but I've already made it fit. I've already modified everything. We are gonna have power steering. I've already gotten rid of all this stuff that we're not gonna be using. Uh, cleaned up the bay, pre pressure washed it. Like we're ready to go. Um, I'm hoping in this video, you guys, we're gonna have the car getting running. So let's get right into it about me getting this installed and not kind of mess around any longer. So let's get.
focusing on, you know, on. You can't get a wrench in here, you can't tighten it down, you can't anything. And then to be able to get to, to the return drain line, well, how am I gonna tighten a drain line that's right here? No, you're gonna have to pull the housing off. So I'm gonna break it apart right now and show you guys how to do this because I feel like not very many people understand what it is to do this whole process. So intake manifold is already installed uh, and at least bolted down. Haven't done the fuel, the fuel rail yet, haven't done the fuel injectors yet, we'll get to that in a minute. But for now, let's just go ahead and show you guys how we do this whole turbo setup stuff. So let's get it. All right, guys, so I'm not sure if you got that. I think the camera was kind of wrong. So what I just did is I loosened up all the bolts in the rear back here that look like this. There are two half moons that sit like this that hold the little uh, rear part of the turbo into the cartridge. And um, I went ahead and pulled the whole turbo, which looks like this. I pulled it out. So it sits in, in the turbo like this. You take off the stuff, pull it out of the cartridge, okay? or pull the cartridge out of the housing. So then what I'm gonna do now is I have a T4 gasket already in here. I'm going to go ahead and mount this rear housing on here by putting four bolts in, tightening it down, and we're gonna go ahead and go through the other process. All right, guys, so the fittings are installed, top and bottom, you can see them now. So what I'm gonna do now is all these bolts that go around the turbo down here, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna remove all them so that you can go ahead and get all your turbo line fittings done and you can actually tighten this housing into the rear housing right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. So here it is right here, your two half moons, your bolts and the bolts are out. So all you're gonna do then is you're gonna grab the housing, it comes out, there's your turbine and your O-ring that seals the boost behind the cartridge. So what we're gonna do is feed side up. This is gonna go directly back into the rear housing, and that's pretty much what it is. So we're gonna go ahead and use all those half moons right, right there that are over here, and bolt that in now, so that we can actually start moving our way forward from the back to the front. Okay, so all the rear housing bolts are in, and as you can see, the feed line is coming out the block into the top of the turbo. So now we're gonna do the drain line that needs to go into there, right there, and go into the bottom of the turbo over here, and that'll complete your feed and return line for your oil system for your turbo. All right, guys, so day two in the heat, working on this thing. Uh, kind of a hectic week this week because I'm not really sure what car I want to get on dyno. There's a lot of projects that are, that are here right now where uh, everyone's just kind of in the middle of getting parts or getting custom stuff done. So basically on this thing, I got the intercooler piping already done. I got the intake manifold already bolted on. We got the new uh, FID 1300s already installed into it. I mean... Just a little odds and ends at this point. Put on some hose clamps. Uh, I need to fab the radiator mount. I need to finish um, cutting the water neck, putting the sensors in, installing my wiring harness. I mean, we're not too, too far off from getting this thing started. Um, I may actually push this car through uh, next week just because all the other cars, I'm not really sure if they're going to be ready to go. So I guess just stay with it. And uh, hopefully real soon we'll be getting this thing started. I'm going to do a real quick overview of what's up with the piping and how it looks. And then we'll get right into it. guys so i got the wiring harness all installed everything's all plugged in fuel pressure sensor flex fuel sensor oil pressure sensor i uh, still got to plug in the o2 sensor for the infinity if you didn't already know we are using a comp turbo an aem infinity 506 we are running a seven inch bti 
can gauge that you'll see in the next video. And we will be installing the BC264 cams. So uh, let's get into getting the harness into the firewall and uh, all set up and uh, we'll jump right into it. All right, guys, so we are inside of the Starion right now, uh, or Conquest, be it what it may, and this is pretty much the room that I'm having to deal with underneath here. There's not a lot of room up here for the uh, the harness to come through, and there's already a pre-existing hole that's about, you know, not, not nearly big enough to run the harness through, so we're gonna unbolt the AC unit right here on this side. Hopefully, we can keep the blower in here in order for him to still keep his defroster, but basically, on the room that we have, you have to remove the dashboard. Since the dashboard in this thing is perfect, along with the rest of the interior, and it's very brittle, I don't want to go ahead and yank the dash. It'll also take probably a whole entire day to get it apart without breaking anything. So I've already talked to the customer and uh, it's kind of looking like we're gonna have to just destroy this AC uh, box right here and get it out in pieces. And then I can fasten my ECU and all that other stuff where I would normally put all our stuff in the corner over here. So let's see what happens and let's see if we can get it apart. All right guys, so mission successful. We got the wiring harness ran through. Went ahead and got that blower unit or that AC unit or whatever that was out of there now. So I can go ahead and mount all the ECU stuff on the firewall. There's a nice good shot of the shifter in the middle since the last one was really, really bad. And all right, guys, so this is going to go ahead and conclude the video for this week. Thanks for watching again. Uh, Star Run's looking really, really, really good. I mean, cannot wait to get this thing on the dyno. I mean, a little update, I guess, of what needs to be done for uh, the next video for part three of this, which will be the startup on Infinity. Um, and getting it on the dyno and getting the car done. We are gonna end up cutting the cu customer as far as horsepower on this thing at about 500 because honestly, they're not used to driving anything crazy. They're not looking for some crazy horsepower number. Maybe they will later, um, but for now, it's just kind of about having a reliable car and we definitely set it up and built it for that. So as far as next week and what needs to get done, we're gonna need to finish the drive shaft, the throttle cable, do all the wiring that we're gonna need for this. I need to fab a custom uh, radiator mount for the bottom. I've already mocked it up and put some uh, rib nuts in the cross member uh, radiator support area to go ahead and hold the radiator that I've already chose for that. We need to go ahead and put a serpentine belt on, get a few radiator hoses cut to make it fit. And um, I mean, put the shifter in, put the gear oil in, hook up the dash and we should be ready to go. So not sure about next week, you know, maybe you guys will all be pretty lucky and uh, Instead of getting the RB on the dyno, we'll end up getting the Starion and the S14 on the dyno. I'm not really sure how the week's gonna go, but we do have two days lined up for dyno for next week and the week after and the week after. So there's gonna be a lot of dynoing coming up because the shop is just full of cars everywhere and our whole back area is full of cars as well. So um, anything you guys wanna know about this build or anything you guys wanna see uh, in the future, just kind of let me know. We have a few ideas for builds that we're gonna be planning on doing as well. This Mark IV Super is gonna be getting on the lift. Uh, to getting a, a full setup build. Drew's car is on the lift right now getting some work done. So keep it with our channel and all the stuff that's going to be happening over here. And uh, until next time, we'll see you then.